headed uh, Birth had passed eastbound out of Grand County, and uh, First Creek here is where the fun part starts. A lot of up and down through the gears. And a six feet truck. And the fun part to me is trying to actually drive a truck, shift back up through the gears and steep climb, pulling up about 8,000 pounds. Just learning to shift, I think, first. Shift well first with a load as part of it. Before you even start to try and wrap your head around, managing your exhaust gas temperature, uh, engine RPMs. We've got a little bit of extra horsepower and torque on this 24 valve with an edge comp box um, and a slightly larger turbocharger. So coming up this steep uh, haul out of uh, the mountains here in Colorado, I can run my comp box on the first setting um, and overheat um, my exhaust gas temperature. I can get to 1300 really easy in fifth gear here. I'm turning about 1900 at 50 miles an hour. And I can put enough fuel to it to quickly hit 13, 13 Comp box um, is that down there? Yeah, okay. the comp box being the the uh, electronic fueling controller from Edge uh, products. Okay. If I if I'm on zero, you can put the pedal in the floor, even loaded, and run about 1,200 on your EGTs. Uh, it's just you know the whole truck was built to operate at a certain you know, horsepower and torque level. And when you start adding fuel, you've got to add more air. So I can put a lot more fuel to the truck than it has the air um, to mix. It, it would require a larger turbocharger in a pretty big degree for me to be able to run setting two, setting three, um, and apply much throttle on a climb like this. So there's really no point. Um, in my opinion, in my personal truth, is there's really no point on running a much higher fueling setting um, then I can apply. You know, I'm at like three-quarter throttle right here, pushing 1,200 on my EGTs, and I can make a shift to fifth pretty effortlessly, pick back up at 18, 1,900 RPMs, push right back up to 1,300 there on EGTs. Like, that's a good fuel setting for me to run hauling an 8,000-pound load through the mountains. So um, a turbocharger is the air intake, or is what mixes the air intake and the fuel? It's part of the air intake. Okay. It is what, it uses exhaust gas leaving the engine to spin a fan, which on the other side of the axle spins another fan on the intake side of your engine and compresses air into the intake. It really matters up here at nine to 11,000 feet going over a mountain pass loaded because the air is so much less dense there is less oxygen available to be uh, a part of the combustion process of you know, the fire that's right. burning in the top of this engine. Um, at 9,000 feet, there's about 30% less oxygen in the atmosphere in every breath or every cubic inch of air going into the engine than there is at sea level. So, like naturally aspirated vehicles, we call them, um, suffer a significant loss of power at altitude. You might be in a little four-seat vehicle or a four-door police cruiser like that guy and notice that when you have five passengers and all of your luggage coming to the mountains to visit, your car is not as, as fast going over the pass and it's for a reason. Uh, not only are you loaded down but you have less oxygen so your vehicle puts less fuel uh, to the engine. The turbocharger alleviates that by still putting a lot of air into the combustion chamber so that a lot of fuel can go with it. How much fuel is what we're controlling, not just by our foot on the throttle, but by the, the fuel controller setting. Would you call the comp It's the box? Edge Comp Box comp. is the product name. Uh, it's a great older product. Now, you know, fuel control products for diesel vehicles integrate with the onboard control, uh, you know, power control, powertrain control module, engine control module. It's all electronic. Uh, you know, 
and the gauges are built in. This is the old school 20 year ago stuff um, where it's just plugged into the engine control module to change the amount of fuel delivered relative to the uh, throttle position and analog gauges on the B pillar so that I can monitor my exhaust gas temperature, my boost pressure, and my fuel pressure. You know, so, and that's the dance. You know, you find the fuel setting that you can just about maximize because you still want to be able to open the throttle, to actually open the, the throttle valve like in the throttle body. If you chip up too high, if I'm running setting three or four, I'm not opening the throttle body as far to get the same fuel delivery. Um, and it'll end up you know, causing a rich condition. That's when you see trucks that are blowing black smoke. You know, it, you may think it looks cool. I used to think it looked cool, but all that is is wasted fuel. The black smoke from a diesel truck, that's particles of fuel and dirty particles of fuel as evidenced by their color that didn't get burned up in that combustion cycle. Um, there wasn't enough air, a big enough turbocharger charge to go with it. Um, and you just waste some fossil fuels, which are irreplaceable, blowing them into the atmosphere, which is irreparable. Um, and you can have a lot less black smoke and still have a loud truck that towed well and was actually pulling it efficiently and effectively with a little more understanding of how all those systems have to work to achieve a good running truck or a good pulling truck. And I mean, it's one thing to drive your truck from your house to the mall as fast as you can, but pulling 11,000 foot mountain passes is uh, a little bit better testing ground for figuring out what actually works right, runs right. And everything's working right on this little girl right now.